Sometimes someone reads about a rose or sees a picture of a rose that intrigues them. They can possibly go to a local nursery or garden center and they can't find it. They might go to online nurseries, uh, um, not be able to find it there. There are some rose groups on social media sites such as Facebook um, or other online groups that they could ask if anyone's growing the rose. They obviously would need to know the name of the rose that they're looking for though. Um, so what happens if you run across a rose in real life where there isn't a name tag or there isn't a someone to ask? Well, there's still groups that you can look for. Um, sometimes these roses that you run into are alongside a rose or in a cemetery. Um, sometimes there's not much information other than old rose books or catalogs. You can find those in either libraries or online, possibly if you're lucky, in a great garage sale or flea market. Do be aware, though, that good looking through old books and catalogs might make you seek out more. Hunting for roses is definitely a way to get more involved in the rose hobby. Also, it's a great way to preserve roses um, if you're able to get permission to get cuttings or um, get cuttings in some other way. I'd like to know what are some things that you guys do when you find a rose or find out about a rose that intrigues you. Leave a comment below and let me know. Um, thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it and have a good day.